and today I'm going to be discussing a thread that I found on Twitter by someone's burner account. It's obviously a burner account because it only has two followers. And they named the burner account Jason Lee on purpose because it's after some blogger. Just trying to understand the venom, okay, because they're fussing about foundational black people and Caribbean black people. Now, I am not a foundational black person. No, I'm not. Um, I have both sides of my family on my father's side and my mom's side have Caribbean ties and my dad came over to America with his parents from South America when he was um, younger, but he like like he was like seven or something like that. So he was raised in South America and all that stuff. Now, I don't know who told him. It was a um, a thread he found where someone said I don't know where that pe that person's family and stuff is from. They said excuse me um, that their family they just noticed that with their family or the, the Caribbean people they know and the African people they know that they always end up finding a way and, and using resources that the um, foundational black people in America don't use to get further um, impoverished blacks. No one cares where they came from. How come the immigrant blacks have a staggeringly higher success rate than American blacks? When they're both have the same skin color, they're both living in the same circumstances, and apparently they're both targeted by the system the same. Everyone wants to tell me it's not mindset. Mindset can't change. Mindset can't fix this problem. Then why are certain cultural differences in black people making them successful and certain cultural traits in black people are making them not successful. It's not the skin color we need to change, it's the mindset behind the skin color. foundational black people and they like the thing is I do not think that foundational black people are lazy I don't think that so I don't know whoever is pushing that agenda just know that you can't say that all Caribbean black people think that way because I do not think that way and then when they were like oh well you don't know the hardships that the foundational black people went through and y'all will be the first ones to say that um, foundation of black people shouldn't get um, reparations. And I'm like, I wouldn't. Actually, on many occasions, even though I know I would not get any money from it, I've been saying, yeah, they should get their um, reparations. Yeah, they should get like um, money back for um, slavery and all that stuff. Or um, for the times that they were swindled and didn't get their 40 acres and a mule or whatever. Because when I was younger, um, when I was in elementary school, I did re prior reading before they even brought these things up, before people was marching, and I thought that that was depressing. I thought that the black history in America was depressing, and then from then on, I just tried to avoid, When I, even when I was in college, I tried to avoid even taking like a black history class because I already know it's the same old, same old, it's the same story, and it's just depressing. It, it seemed like you don't find any like upbeat stories or any well they made it um from the grit and now they're better stories and yeah he's right that there is a lot of um black people from other countries that uh, when they come over to america they go and they make sure that they keep saying that they're from a different country and i did not do that when i was in middle school i did not go and like beat my chest numb telling everyone, yeah, my dad's from South America and